is not all sweet like he is right here, I promise you. <laughs> all right, hold on, you go play. So what does Taz have to do with marketing? Hi, Mike Mancini with ppcvideotraining.com. Today we are starting a brand new series called This is Marketing, uh, Great Marketing Examples. These are ones that I, I think a lot of people really like to see good examples of marketing that, that anybody can do. It doesn't have to be somebody with a Fortune 500 company budget. It can be a small mom and pop shop in their garage. And these are things that really, really stand out and are great examples of how to market your business, especially nowadays online in the digital world. And today's example, I'm going to show you right now what it is. So this is what we're talking about today. This is Taz. Taz has been in our household now for not even quite three days, but you can probably imagine. And for those of you who are a little too young, Taz, the name Tasmanian devil truly fits this guy. He is not all sweet like he is right here. I promise you. <laughs> all right, hold on. You go play. So what does Taz have to do with marketing? Well, for those of you who have animals know, uh, it's, it's a huge expense. I mean, it, depending on whether you buy or you adopt, you have food, you have kennels or, you know, crates or toys and vet bills and it just all adds up. Now we had a dog that previously passed away a few months or about six months ago and you know we waited a while and we decided now was a good time. So but we had a lot of the stuff but you just start going back over and you know we had a full grown dog. We didn't have a ton of toys because he just preferred, you're going to hear that a lot throughout, <laughs> throughout this video, the little squeak toys over there. Uh, he, We didn't have a lot of do, uh, toys for a puppy so we went out and we bought a lot of those and and there's some other things. Now there's a company and they are called MightyPawPaw.com. Now I found them online because I was buying something I believe on Amazon and I saw them as a suggested, uh, I saw their company as suggested uh, that I might like this product and I'm gonna show you what it is. Okay, so here was the Mighty Paw Smart Bell 2.0. This is a little bell that you plug into the wall and then you put a little activator over on the door. And what happens is when the dog has to go outside, it, it helps let them tell you that they need to go versus the barking. And we had a dog that used to bark, which was fine, but at four o'clock in the morning, you, that's the last thing you really want to hear. Uh, so it, it was a great product. I thought it was a great idea. And I'm like, you know what, 30 bucks, we'll try it out. So I go ahead and I order this product and we get it and you know, we still have to train him how to use it, but I'm like, it's just a, it was a cool little gimmicky uh, type product. And, and honestly, I could see how it would work. So I'm excited to see if we can do it. With that said, as soon as I open the package, this falls out. Chew toy, free. Underneath it says, not even kidding, mightypaw.com. And then it's got, you know, the address, the URL to go to. And being in marketing, I, I'm just like, that's just genius. They know that this initial product is for a potty training a dog, which usually tends to say this is a new dog, young dog, new dog. Um, and this, this is a good opportunity to try and get them in our funnel, even though I've already completed the funnel, but they're trying to get me kind of in their ecosystem to stay there. And like I said, you know, you're already spending already all this money. We bought new toys and treats and everything like that. And I'm like, you know what, a free chew toy? Sure, why not? So I go to the website and I sign up for this free chew toy. Now they're very upfront about it. I don't know what kind of chew toy it is. I have no idea anything about it. All I know is that it said it was gonna be, it could take up to 30 days to receive, which is fine, it's a free chew toy. It's not like I'm gonna be waiting, you know, uh, every day for it to show up. And they, they tell you that upfront. And we don't, like I said, we don't even know what it's gonna be. And I might update this later and, and let you know as, um, when we do get it. But the idea of not only, they got me through one funnel with the doggy doorbell, okay? But now they just throw in this, just a little business card that says free chew toy, go to this URL. Now they got me as an initial purchase. Not only that, but they got me into their another funnel 
by going to their website, getting basically, essentially, this is their lead magnet. They got me into that one. And then they started sending me percent off coupons and putting me in their email list. But while I was on their website, I started looking around. I'm like, oh, they've got some great leashes and harnesses and, and stuff that I probably would have used with either dog if I had I known they exist. They've got kind of some niche products. And I thought that is absolutely brilliant. And in, even though I was, even though I'm in marketing, I literally am going through this. I'm filling this form out on their website going, oh crap, they got me. They totally got me. And it was just, it was funny because I realized it was happening while it was happening. And I just thought it was a really, really good idea. So once I signed up for their free toy, like I said, they were very upfront. It's not something that they're going to, you know, drop everything to send out a free toy. They said you receive it within the next 30 days. Then they sent me this email, Mighty Paw, by dog lovers for dog lovers. What up? I'm Barley. And it talks about, you know, Barley and joining their family. And then it lets me know what to expect. Okay. I can basically join the rest of their furling fam, uh, that here. And I click on that and it takes me to their Facebook page. There are a lot of dog people who are just all in with everything, right? They do the doggy daycare. Like they don't leave their dogs at home. They take them to a daycare so they can play. And it's a huge, huge, huge industry. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you involved in everything. They've got me on their email list. Now they're trying to send me to their Facebook page. Mighty Paw, by dog lovers, for dog lovers. And it's post questions, share pictures and videos and connect with other dog lovers. Welcome to the Mighty Paw family. Now this is brilliant because people love to share pictures of their dogs and videos and things like that. And cats, obviously. So you can look, there's 1500 people in this group. Hold on, I'm gonna have to pause and come right back. Okay, crisis averted, just couldn't get to his treat. Anyway, uh, so you can get to their Facebook page and they're putting you in that ecosystem as well. Then in the email, they're talking about what to expect. In our next email, they're gonna give you their best bag of tricks to tackle any situation a new dog owner usually ugly cries over, okay? This is great because they already know I'm a new dog owner. I'm trying to buy a potty training device and I just got a free chew toy, okay? So they are literally just continuing the journey. Now, they're not asking for anything here. They're not asking for a sale. They already got a sale, but what they're doing is they're starting to basically nurture me along, and if they're smart, and I have a feeling they've got some pretty smart people working on this, then eventually what's gonna happen is they're gonna show me some more value. So in the next email, they've already told us, they're going to give you the best bag of tricks to tackle any situation a new dog owner usually ugly cries over. So I'm assuming that's probably going to be some sort of training trick or tactic. Now, whether that's, um, a, you know, uh, just something to do, or if they're, you know, talk about walking a dog, they can obviously let us know about one of their dog leashes or dog harnesses, and they can tie a product in that way. Or they can continue to give me this great information. And then after about five or six emails, maybe even four, they hit me up with an offer. Hey, take 30% off any one of our dog leashes because maybe their dog leashes tie into one of the trainings. Okay, see how that works? This isn't costing them anything. They, other than the free dog treat, which is a really, really cheap and easy way to get targeted, targeted people into your funnel. And dog people have expendable income usually. If, you know, these, these things are so expensive that a few dollars uh, in shipping in just a tiny little dog treat or whatever dog toy it might be, it's probably, you know, maybe three, four dollars that they're spending to get me in their ecosystem as a previous customer. They're probably only spending maybe three, four dollars to get me in that ecosystem and depending on you know, what kind of dog person you are, you, we can spend a lot of money on these animals. But also as time goes on, we can continue spending even more money. And you know, not only that, but we buy products from them. Then we can refer people because these products are so great, like the doggy doorbell. And you see how this just snowballs. So this is not a situation where this has to be a fortune 500 company with an unlimited budget. Literally, I already purchased a product. They made a profit on that. What they're doing is taking a little bit of that profit to 
keep me going and keep buying products from them. So I bought the doggy doorbell. They sent a business card, which is, you know, pennies. Um, then they had me sign up for their free chew toy and, and, uh, you know, they're going to send that to me with, um, and pay for the shipping on that. So probably the profit that they made from the doggy doorbell more than covered a few bucks for a business card combined with the shipping and the actual chew toy itself. Takes a little bit of time to craft some emails. And guess what? You have this marketing ecosystem now where they can just churn and churn and churn. And they can literally just keep sending me these great tips on how to train the dog, on how to potty train it, whatever it might be. And then they can also offer me complimenting products that would help me do that easier. Okay? We have a very frustrated pooch right now. I'm not paying attention to him. <laughs> so that's this week's example of this is marketing. Uh, just a great marketing example. Uh, give him a shout out, mightypaw.com. Excellent job. I look forward to see what you guys have coming next. So if you'd like to see some other great marketing examples, click the video right next to us and you can continue on in that journey. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel or share a video with someone who might find it interesting. Or if you or someone else you know is in need of PPC or Google ad services, please forward our information to them. We'd love to help. Thanks for stopping by.